This could be good news for millions of Fire Stick users that are running low on space. Amazon are getting together a plan so that you can install even more apps on your Fire Stick. More details coming up shortly. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as we know, the Fire TV stick is notorious for not having enough space. It's got eight gigabytes, which really isn't a great deal of space for anybody with an Android based system, because as we know, that space gets gobbled up pretty quickly with all the apps that you can install on there. Amazon on their Fire TV sticks have generally always stuck to an eight gigabyte of memory storage. And a lot of that is already taken up by the Fire OS system and ever more now pre-installed apps that come with it that you just simply can't remove. But there is good news. Amazon are now working on a way where you can free up more space on your Fire Stick and install even more apps. As reported on AFTV News, they have got wind that Amazon are working on a system which is pretty much similar to a system that's on the iOS system where selected apps that you don't use when you get low on storage, it will tell you what apps you've never used or what apps you least used and give you the option to basically offload that app. So keep the actual settings, keep the data associated with that app, but actually remove the app itself so that when you come to reinstall the app, when you do want to use it, all the settings are still there. So for example, here on my system, I've got Proton VPN. Now, I hardly ever use it. As you can see here on the right hand side under storage, the application is 158 megabytes, but the data and the cache is, I mean, the data is 4.05 megabytes and the cache is only 115 kilobytes. So that's next to nothing. If I don't use the app that often, then I might as well offload it if I can. Get, get the app off of the system, but keep the settings on the system. And if I do ever want to put the app back on, then I can just simply download it again from the app store or go into manage installed applications and install it from there because it may be marked as offloaded in there. And within a couple of seconds, the app's back and I don't need to put in any settings. I don't need to sign back into the app if it requires a sign in. Hopefully, when I've offloaded the app, it's remembered all the settings. It's remembered my username, remember my password, and I just get back on with it as I normally would. Uh, the app's just literally put back on the system as if it was always there. So it might take a little bit longer for the app to load up because it's got to re-download again, but it does then free up. On my, in my case, say if I could offload this app, it will free up 158 megabytes. Now that doesn't seem a lot, but obviously if you go through all of the apps that you've got on your system and offload apps that you uh, don't use that often, then that could mount to quite a substantial amount of space saving. Now the big question is, are all apps gonna be allowed to be offloaded? Are is it just gonna be apps that you've downloaded from the app store? Will sideloaded apps allowed to be offloaded? Will Amazon apps be allowed to be offloaded? Well, it's very unlikely that Amazon are gonna allow you to offload all of their apps. And it's also very unlikely that sideloaded apps are also gonna be allowed to be offloaded. I think it's only gonna be possible to offload apps that you've downloaded yourself via the Amazon App Store. Certainly sideloaded apps, the system wouldn't know where to get those back again. So I think your only option there would be to uninstall the app. I could be wrong. They might give you the option to uh, offload side apps to save space, but I think that's very, very unlikely. So the other big question is, when is this gonna come in? And is it gonna come in for all Fire Sticks? Well, 
There's no guarantees. It's currently in development, according to AFTV News. And as they say on their website, things have been in development before, but pulled at the last minute and never released. So there's no guarantees this is going to be released. Certainly, I don't think this is going to be released on older second gen models fire, running Fire OS 5. I think it's likely it's going to be released to models like the 4K stick and the 4K Max, the Amazon Fire TV and the Lite. I think it's going to be released, like I say, to models that are running Fire OS 6 and 7 only. But again, could be wrong, just purely speculation. Obviously, if we hear any more details about this, when it's going to be released, etc., then we'll, of course, let you know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you find out about all my latest videos when they're released. But for the moment, obviously, the only way we can uh, free up a bit more space is to clear the cache or remove apps that we don't currently need and reinstall them as and when we need them. And of course, with Amazon's own built-in apps, have a look at my videos that I've released recently, which talk about how to remove some of these built-in apps such as Amazon Music, Prime Video, Amazon Kids, etc. I hope you liked this video and if you did please help support this channel. Have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a new Fire Stick, Fire Stick accessories or in fact looking for a VPN subscription then there's loads of links down below to help you out. Buying or subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to researching and making these videos for you. And thanks once again to AFTV News for all this information. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, including the ones that tell you how to remove Amazon built-in apps off your Fire Stick. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time, space, and money.